right, Mark Washburn here from Pond Algae Solutions, and in this week's Pond Tip, I want to talk about a question that we've gotten from time to time, and I think it's a good question. Uh, that is that I have a small pond, let's say, about 1,500 gallons, and I have fish in the pond, and they have, over the years, uh, multiplied, and they have grown larger. question that we get is uh, the fish population self-regulating, meaning will the fish grow smaller, will they, uh, will they not continue to multiply, uh, will it be a self-regulating system? The initial answer to that question is no. Uh, it will not be a self-regulating system in the sense that the fish will just r remain smaller or they will adjust their size and growth rate to the size of the pond or the gallon volume that you have, um, nor will they n quit multiplying uh, because people run into problems with uh, overstocking uh, and high fish densities in small ponds all the time. In fact, this is one of the number one reasons that people have water quality problems in their small ponds, which also can lead to algae problems. Uh, the other part of this answer is, yes, they will be self-regulating, and here's how. Once fish get overstocked, they uh, begin to have health issues. They begin to have a higher vulnerability of disease. They oftentimes will grow a lot more slowly, and the chances of having a uh, fish die off is much greater, certainly because of poor wa water quality conditions, maybe something like high ammonia loads where your biofiltration or your active biological processes can't keep up with the, the load anymore that's being put on it. And so the pond and the fish continue to get sicker and sicker until you start to have fish loss. So in a sense, Mother Nature will regulate your fish density at one point or another, but obviously as a concerned and conscientious pond owner, that's not really how we want to go about it. And so we need to continue to guard against fish uh, overstock and high density loads in our ponds. Best rule of thumb, 10 gallons of water uh, for every inch of goldfish and no more. Uh, no more uh, uh, beyond that. Uh, in terms of koi, koi need 25 gallons of water per inch of fish. So uh, if you're concerned about such things, go out, take a look at your fish, uh, count them. Uh, the number and try to get an average length in inches and then uh, multiply that number out by the species. If you have goldfish, multiply it out by 10. If you have koi, multiply it out by about uh, 25 and uh, relate that to the gallon capacity of your pond and it will tell you whether you're overstocked or not. If you are, you may want to take some steps to try to reduce this load or increase the capacity, the holding capacity of your pond through improving your filtration, possibly even uh, moving the fish to a bigger pond or finding some friends who may need some uh, some fish in there. So there's different things that you can do, but the one thing that you don't want to do is continue to uh, to leave the pond in the condition that it is or leave it in an overstock condition for a very long because you will likely run into different problems, algae being one of the first that you'll see. So hope this helps with your, uh, your small pond or water garden, and uh, we'll see you again very soon with another pond tip. Take care, everybody.